2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's great to be with you on a Monday afternoon as we get set for this broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. It's the Sacramento Kings taking on the go. Brooklyn Nets. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Stojakovic is out there with Weber. Then it's Bibby. Then it's Divac. And it's Christie in at the two. Now here's Durant. Right on the bucket. Yeah, you know, at first glance, you might think Durant has trouble finishing through contact, but think again, folks. I mean, you can't measure desire by body type. Irving against Christie. King's moving the ball around. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. Bibby dishes to Weber. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And how unique is Weber? A, a smooth shooting big man with some sick handles. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw good from Weber. Weber hits them both. Irving with it. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey guys, I did have a chance to talk with the head coach of the Kings. It sounds like they, like everyone else, will try to prevent Kyrie Irving from getting into the lane. Coach told me Kyrie's a very good outside shooter, but where he really breaks you down is where the dribble drives. You have to put bodies between him and the basket. Kevin, it's a tall order for defenders to stay in front of him. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Now, here's Durant on the wing, Harris. No good from outside. And here are the Kings now. It's a three-point game. Christie can't make it. Harris outside. This is it to Katie. Harris outside. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. You know, with Harris, if you're open, he's going to make sure he finds you. Sacramento off to a slow start. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They get the rebound. Stojakovic, and the layup falls. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Now here's Irving. The pass to Harden. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Mike Bibby. Exceptional strength. Harden is so smart at creating opportunities to get to the free throw line. They're not shooting their first free throws of the game. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. One of the hardest and trickiest covers in the league. Harden, not just a superb scorer, but also an amazing passer, which really makes him really hard to guard.
He hits both from the strike. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And here are the Kings now, trailing by five. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Here's Durant. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Weber. Yeah, you know, you're kidding yourself if you think Durant is going to back down from the opponent. Man, what a strong finish there. Brooklyn shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Yeah, you look at Durant's numbers, 50-40-90. He's made that club multiple times. One of the few players to accomplish that. And he seems to threaten those numbers virtually every year. Now, here is Bibby. Pass to Stojakovic. Over Harris. And it's Stojakovic missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Weber against Irving. Weber, the pass to Bibby. Back to Weber. Brooklyn with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. The Kings trail by eight. Here's Stojakovic. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Boy, Weber doing a nice job passing the ball. Seems to know whenever one of his guys is open. That's extra talent there. Weber against Harden. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Brown, he's checked in for Weber. On defense, Sacramento. Six-point game. A shot by KD. No good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. In the corner, Irving with it. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Man, the confidence Irving has is, is something I really appreciate. I mean, he's ready to shoot it as soon as he gets it and not afraid of any kind of shot. Here's Christie. No points in the game yet for him. Six on the shot clock. Outside, Stojakovic drills the three-pointer. And how about that quick-fire release from Stojakovic? Just a tremendous shooter. The D has to get up on him, even as the pass is coming his way. Wasted no time on that one. Durant's got nine. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Here's Christie. Pass to Bibby. Dishes to Brown. Here's Christie. Good D by Irving. Nets leading by seven. Harden bounce pass. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Harden. And, you know, when you get a clean look at the rim, Harden usually will find you. I think he's underrated and undervalued at making his teammates better. Here's Christie. Now Bibby. A floater. And Durant sends it back. That extraordinary reach combined with good timing makes Durant a real threat as a shot blocker. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Jackson, he's checked in for the Kings.
Five to shoot. Durant with the steal. And here's the fast break. Durant leading the way. And the basket by Harden. He has seven. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. And how about the shooting stroke of Bibby? His three-point shot is as money as it gets. Now, here is Harden. Seven points in the game. From 18 feet away, misses off the left iron. The Kings trail by eight. Here's Stojakovic. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nets. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, also something I like out of them so far, they're throwing their bodies around in the paint, and, and the physicality is taking its toll. Free throw good, Stojakovic. And, you know, Stojakovic is one of the sweetest shooting forwards in the game. I mean, you feel like every shot he takes is going to make. They double-team KD. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Brooklyn with the ball. Green kicks to Harris. Maybe against Harden. Takes the three. No good that time. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. It's stolen by Harris. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. You cannot afford to be careless around Harris. He's very capable of swiping the ball away if you are. And here's Djokovic. Ten points for him. It's Brown on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. A shot missing. Good D by Irving. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They lead by seven. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Now, here is Bibby. There's the feed to Stojakovic. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Yeah, and Bibby does a great job uh, uh, within their offense, especially when it comes to spotting the open man. From deep Harden, here's Durant. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. The Kings trail by seven. Outside Jackson. Passes it to Bibby. Three-pointer. But they'll get another chance. Pollard, good. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Irving passes to Harden to the paint. And Jeff Green, the bucket on the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. The pass to Pollard. Stojakovic with the three. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And then Durant with the jam. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irvin has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Joe Harris. Brown comes in for Irving. And Dinwiddie subbed in for James Harden. Here's Pollard. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. 
It's the Nets now. Brooklyn leading by seven. Pinwitty surveying the floor. Down low. KD with the bucket. KD's got 15. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's Dijakovic. 12 points for him. Outside Jackson. Nailed from three-point land. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Durant, no good. The Kings trail by six. Stojakovic with it. They double him with green, and the officials call him for a three-second violation. Pass to Claxton. Inside, and the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, that's par for Durant. I mean, that's what he gives you, the ability to score at all three levels. For three, Bibby. Dinwiddie with the rebound. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. That doesn't go either for KD. Now the Kings with it, trailing here by eight. Here's Stojakovic. KD comes with the double team. Back to Stojakovic. Brown right side. Just five to shoot. Pollard passes to Bibby. Now Zajakovic, defended by Durant. Pass to Pollard. Back to Brown. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brooklyn leading by eight. KD looking around. And then Durant with the dunk. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Sacramento making a switch here. Christie's checked in. Fifty-five seconds left in the first quarter, and the shot goes in. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Now Dinwiddie, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Passes to Brown. And that one is good. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Here's Christie. Outside Jackson. The Kings have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. Here's Christie. Durant with the steal. In transition, here come the Nets. In with the ball. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. 
The Nets shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. One shot. That free throw good from Brown. There's 18 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Brown against Christie. Two on the clock. Here's Pollard and an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. Brooklyn ahead. They lead by 12. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And uh, the Nets have been rolling right along here, haven't they? They came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Sacramento. A 12-point game. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for Brooklyn now... We've got Green, who's out there with Durant, and it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Jackson. On the wings to Jakovic. Back to Jackson. Christie the pass to Paolo. Jackson has the open look. Here's Weber. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And you got to have respect for how hard Weber goes on that glass using those huge hands to snatch rebounds away. The Kings shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Brooklyn leading by nine. Brown outside. Back to Dinwiddie. The kick out to Brown. Off target from outside. And it's the Kings with the ball. Here's Christie. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Kings trail by nine. Back to Stiakovic. Lays it up and banks it in. Stiakovic has got 16 points. Hey, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And there's the pass to KD. To the inside. Claxton lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Claxton's got his first two points of the night. The guard like quickness of Durant makes him hard to guard. I mean, which in turn opens up passing lanes for him, too. Jackson passes to Weber. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. What you allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. He's made all three of his free throws so far.
and the first one drops. Griffin's checked in for Green. Ivans is checked in for the Kings. And he can't hit the second. Brooklyn leading by eight. Here's Dinwiddie. It's deflected. The nine shots. Weber doing a good job utilizing his length and setting the tone defensively. Jackson gets the bucket. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Brown outside. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Claxton, kicks to Brown. Griffin trying to get open, and it's Brown missing. The Kings trail by six. Back to Jackson. Pass to Christie. Beyond the arc. The offensive rebound controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Dinwiddie passes to Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Well, the elevation from Durant should come as no surprise there. I mean, he's dangerous above the rim, and he can go way above it too, folks. Passes it to Weber. Here's Christie. Jacks up a three. A rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got four rebounds now tonight. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Four on the clock. Now, oh, here's Brown. He's got seven. Here's Durant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Weber. Boy, you're scratching your head with how do you defend a guy like Durant. I mean, his length, his speed, ball handling, all allow him to draw fouls easily. Brooklyn shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Durant. Some changes for Brooklyn. Joe Harris is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Irving comes in for Bruce Brown. And James Harden has subbed in for Dinwiddie. Durant nails both of them. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Harden against Jackson. Stojakovic dishes to Weber. Griffin on the double team. Christie against Irving. Here's Christie. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Irving from long range. Weber pulls it in. Weber's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Christie can't make it. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Here's KD. And then Durant with the jam. You got to love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Feeds to Weber. Count the basket. Weber's got six here in this quarter. Highly efficient close to the rim is Chris Weber. I mean, he's got a really nice, solid, creative post game. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. And team strategies 
closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Bibby's checked in for Jackson. To the middle. And finished off by Griffin. Oh, my word. I shouldn't be amazed anymore when Griffin pulls off a dunk like that, but I always seem to be. The man has some unreal moves above the rim. Now, here is Bibby. Now the pass to Stojakovic. Kings moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Stolen by Harden. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And Harden with the stuff. Really good to see Harden get nasty on defense. He's got quick instincts and quick hands. And I like how he pilfers it on occasion. Now here's Divas. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Weber. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 12 to four run. Tipped away. Stolen by Bibby. And now the fast break. Bibby with the ball. Here's Weber. Rebounded by the Nets. And again, Brooklyn running the court in transition. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Misses the three. The Kings trail by 12. Pass to Divac. He kicks to Stojakovic. Divac in the post. Harris is there for three. Bibby. It's good on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic, which struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. We all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, GA. And here is Harden. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to KD. And the jam by Kevin Durant. And you know the unselfish attitude Harden has helps his team. Awesome at moving the ball. Here's the pass to Christie. That one misses. Some solid defense there from Irving. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailing. Over to the left wing. Pass to Bibby. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Nets. Griffin's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Irving, and it's blocked. Christie against Griffin. Great D that time from Griffin. Nets leading by 12. Here's Irving. Here's Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Well, it's fun watching Irving share the ball. I mean, when he concentrates on running the offense, this team is really dangerous. Timeout, timeout. timeout called by the Kings. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Making a change. Green's checked in. And then for Sacramento. Pollard, he's checked in for Weber. 
And it's Brown in for Peja Stiakovich. And so here's Sacramento. They trail by 14. Duran against Christie. Pass to Pollard. Shot clock at five. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And it's sent back by PD. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Passes it to Harden. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. And Harden doesn't mind showing off a little bit either now. He has ridiculous ball skill. Defense looking completely lost out there. Now, here is Bibby. on the clock. Here's Divac. Oh, and the jam by Divac. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Now here's Irving. He dishes it to KD. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Here's Brown. Christie kicks to Brown. And the pass to Pollard. That's leading by 14. From deep, Harden sinks the three-pointer. Harden's got 14 points. You know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. Green against Bibby to the paint. Here's Divots. It's good. The assist this time from Bibby. Divots has got eight points in the quarter. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Harden against Bibby. Outside Durant for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. The Kings trail by 18. Christie the pass to Pollard. Harden against Bibby. Looking to get back on track here. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you know, one of the things you like about Bibby, he's energetic at the point guard spot and can light you up with his jump shot. This guy is really solid. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First one falls for him. Some changes for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Durant. Brown comes in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Jackson, he's checked in for the Kings. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 29 seconds left now here in the second. Dinwiddie passes to Claxton. Nets passing it around. Brown inside. He's covered by Brown. Kicks it out to Harden. Ice yet again. Great D that time from D-Box. Right side Jackson. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. 
Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He had 34 points, three assists, and two blocks. He's been a different player than he was their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, we're watching KD take control of this game. We know his offensive IQ is off the chart. And then you add the versatility, that makes him absolutely lethal. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? You that cold from the floor, it's always going to be up to the battle. But a ball movement has to be the priority in the second half. They need to be creating a lot of good shots if they want to uh, dig into this league. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. On the court for Sacramento. Devance is out there with Weber. And there's Christie. And it's Peja Stiakovich. And it's Bibby in at the point guard. Weber gets the bucket. Nothing like watching Weber go right up with it. Like how he doesn't waste any time. No wasted motion, no wasted effort. He gets that one. Harris has got his first two points. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Weber can't hit. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Harden outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Harden's got 16. Aggressive in deep. Once Harden gets to a spot he likes, he goes right to work. Maybe against Harden. Outside Stiakovic. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Nets leading by 18. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Here's Harden, and the jam by Harden. And I think one of the things understated about Harden, he's a great athlete. I mean, he can rise and bounce. He's strong. He's quick. He can easily punch it on you when he gets to the rim. Now, here is Fiakovic. He's got 16. He feeds it to Bibby. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Seven points in the game. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Durant in the corner. Doesn't go for him. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. He'd be with it. Seven points in the game. Here's Weber. Kicks it to Bibby. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Nets. Now Griffin. Harden the pass to Griffin. Sacramento grabs the miss. Divac has got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Stojakovic. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Inside. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. 
Here's to Jakovic in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. That one falls. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Bibby against Harden. Back to Bibby. Let's it go with the three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And the basket by Harden. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Maybe against Harden. Now, here is Bibby. He has seven. Pass to Weber. Shot clock at six. Looking to get it going. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Jeff Green is checked in for the Nets. And a change for Sacramento. Jackson's checked in. Brooklyn leading by 18. Here's Irving. Harden outside. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got six assists now in the game. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Up top, Stiakovic. And misses it off the right side of the rim. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's Griffin, and then Griffin with the dunk. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Here's Weber. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Outside, Green. Back to Harden. Nets passing it around. Here's Harris. And the wide open shot from Green. Off target from three point range. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Here's Jackson. An easy two points on the layup. Jackson's got his third basket of the night. And, you know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Nets leading by 18. And here is Irving. Pass to Harden. Yes, that goes in. Harden's got 10 points in the quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 10 straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now, here is Weber. 14 points for him. Here's Christie. Passes it to Jackson. Vivas trying to free himself. Kept alive by Sacramento. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. And so Green will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. In the corner, Harden. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Divac, the pass to Weber. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. And, and also, how about the points they've Shoot got two. in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And he makes the first. Brooklyn making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Brown comes in for Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Then for the Kings, Pollard comes in for Vladi Divas. And it's Brown in for Christie. Oh. 
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Brooklyn leading by 19. Here's Dinwiddie, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Timeout called by the Kings. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Here's Pollard. Off the inbound. Goes back up. And it's Weber getting it to go. Weber's got 17 now. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Sacramento with the ball. After the basket by Brooklyn. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Here's Dinwiddie, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. For Brooklyn, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. Jackson with it. He's got seven. It's Brown on the wing. Here's Pollard. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got six. No issues on that one. Good work all around. Now, Dinwiddie. The pass to Harden. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. To the inside. It's deflected. They retain possession. He gets it in there. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Big difference in second chance points. And that makes it tough. Now here's Dinwiddie. Floats one up. And the basket is good. Harden's got 14 points now in the second half. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Here's Brown. Pass to Weber. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Harden the pass to Claxton. James Harden again. Harden's got 30 points. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Jackson dishes to Weber. And Harden comes to help. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here are the Kings now. Outside Jackson. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Claxton. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Green, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the length of Green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. For Brooklyn, they have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. The 
free throw drops for Jeff Green. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Mike Bibby's checked in for Peja Stojakovic. And both free throws good for Green. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Now here's Brown. Pass to Weber. Bibby for three. Rebounded by the Nets. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. The Nets haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Sacramento. Down low, here's Pollard. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Harden the pass to Brown. And it's blocked by Brown, so it looks like the Nets will retain possession here. Durant's checked in for James Harden. There's 138 left to play in the third. And then Durant with the dunk. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. But they recover it. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Just five on the clock. Bibby passes it to Brock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. And they are shooting themselves in the foot here. They've lost their touch at the line. The percentage continues to drop from where it was in that first half. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. For three, Bibby kept alive by Sacramento. And they get it back again. I mean, how many rebounds offensively have they had? Everything's going right for them today. Here's Claxton, the three from KD. They shoot again. He lays it in. Claxton's got his second bucket. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Now, here is Weber. 19 points in the game. Good on the triple. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. K 
KD against Weber. Outside, KD. Off target with the open look. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. Back right after this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Jordan on out there with Luau, and it's Claxton in at the force. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here's Smith following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. And here's Turkaloo from the arc. Here's Pollard. And he makes good on the layup. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Passes it to Dinwiddie. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. The Nets making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. One shot. One shot. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. And Sacramento has possession. Johnson surveying the floor. The dish now to Wallace. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Here's Turkaloo. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And the basket by Johnson. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Turkaloo outside. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Here's Pollard and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Pollard's got 10 points in just the second half. Johnson against Johnson. Claxton and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Hito Turkaloo. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Brooklyn, Nick Claxton at the line for two. Two shots, Lax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. Smith checked in for the Kings. That one is no good. On offense, here are the Kings. Wallace outside. Inside. Pollard, good. Pollard's got six points in the quarter. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. Now here's Johnson, and there's the pass to Dinwiddie. It's rebounded by Pollard. Pollard's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Johnson. Johnson with the block. 
We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Claxton. On the wing, Johnson. Six to shoot. And a strong finish with two hands. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simple. Here's Johnson following the bucket by the Nets. Smith outside. Back to Johnson. Smith on the wing. Smith outside. Pass to Pollard. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Nets ball. The Nets making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. It's good. It was all about his athleticism when Griffin first came into the league, but it didn't take long to see. He was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. Now here's Johnson. Smith outside. Out to the right wing. Here's Pollard, guarded by Jordan. Smith for three. Sacramento again missing. Out to the right wing. Johnson outside. Passes to Dinwiddie. Rebound by Smith. And here now the Kings. The pass to Wallace. Back to Smith. Johnson outside. Smith finds Johnson. Smith outside. The three-pointer no good. Pass to Luwell. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's Dinwiddie. Basket is good. The assist from Johnson. Dinwiddie's got 11 points here in just the second half. Dinwiddie's gone four of eight from the field. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. King's moving the ball around. Here's Pollard. Dishes it to Wallace. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Johnson, he's checked in for the Nets. And a change for the Kings. Lottie Divac's checked in for Pollard. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Johnson, the pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Boy, Jordan making an aggressive, strong drive there. Puts the defender on his heels. Johnson against Johnson. Pass to Smith. Devon's in the post. From 12 feet out, he scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. You know, for me, it doesn't get any better than seeing big fellows who can use the mid-range jumper to their advantage. With the put down, and there's Jordan putting it right back in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Wallace. 
And the three off target. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Smith outside. To the paint, there's Devots. No good there. Jordan with some nice D. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Now here's Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Luwawu. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Sacramento. Smith the pass to Wallace. Now here's Johnson. Smith kicks to Smith. There's the three. Wallace misses. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And here are the Kings now. Smith right side. Smith left side. Back to Smith. Passes it to Johnson. He kicks it to Smith. They need this one. Rebound, Brooklyn. Jordan's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There's the pass to Luella. Johnson outside. Griffin dishes to Johnson. To the inside. Here's Griffin. Smith with some nice D. And here are the Kings now. He dishes it to Johnson. Smith outside. Pass to Smith. Devots in the post. He's against Jordan. Shots good by Devots. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Johnson outside. Pass to Griffin. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Johnson's got four assists now tonight. And just the sheer power of Griffin, one of the best finishers in the league after contact. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Debots. The shot, no good. The Nets go the other way with it. Jordan, high post. Back to Johnson. Sacramento with the rebound. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Smith. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Johnson. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Driven shot is good. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. One forty-one left to play in the final quarter. Smith outside. Devon's in the post, guarded by Jordan. Out to Smith. Smith the pass to Smith. Johnson for three. The rebound by Lou Wobble. Brooklyn with the ball. 114 left in the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Griffin against Devots. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete. Explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big 
big guy who can flat out throw it down and he also can pass it too. Two shots. And that one misses. And the Kings making a change here. Turkaloo's checked in. And the second free throw, good. And here are the Kings now. The dish to Wallace. Smith outside. The pass to Turkaloo to end the cold streak. No good that time. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Pass to Johnson. Over Johnson, short, great positioning on the putback. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Now here's Turkaloo. Great D that time from Jordan. Here's Luwalu. So it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.